Hey everyone, welcome to a new video, welcome to my channel. My name is Maika and today we are going to be talking about my MAC lipstick collection video. I did another one of these a couple of years ago and I just wanted to update you on what is currently in my MAC lipstick collection. Um, it hasn't changed a whole lot, I did declutter a few over the years and then as I had back to MAC stuff I did get a couple of new ones and I'm sort of doing this video to reacquaint myself with my MAC lipstick collection because all of 2019 I pretty much wore the same Catrice nude lipstick and I'm sort of trying to make an effort this year to use more of what I have going on in my lipstick collection uh, to begin with because what's the point of having 21 MAC lipsticks if you're not using them, you know what I mean? So I just wanted to do this video to also help myself and I thought I could film it for you so you can see what these uh, lipsticks look like on my lips as well as swatched on my arms. I've done a very neutral uh, makeup look to hopefully be very helpful and show these lipsticks in their like true colors as much as possible. That's sort of what we're going for here. Let's start with the nudes. And the nude category of my MAC lipstick collection is also the largest one because I have eight nude lipsticks by MAC. They are in different finishes, so I will just talk you through each one as we're going along. The first one I have here is a Luster Cold Syrup. Uh, and this is one that I bought because a lot of people were talking about patisserie, but that just wasn't really up my street. It was too light. And this is a very nice sort of like mauve neutral, like my lips, but better. And the lusters have a bit of sheen to it. So this is what syrup looks like uh, on the back of my hand. As you can see, it has a little bit of shine to it. So let's put this on. So there we have syrup. And syrup, as you can see, hardly makes a difference between my natural lip color and the lipstick. Um, there isn't much of a difference because syrup truly to me is like a my lips but better kind of shade. It just, because this is not super hydrating, like I think MAC lipsticks overall are quite comfortable, but the Catrice ones that I tried, which are the Power Plumping Gel lipsticks, those are a bit more hydrating on the lips and I feel they are even more comfortable and balmy than something like this because this still has that thicker texture of a lipstick. There was a point in time where I was using this a lot. It just hasn't been very recently. And then we have Brave. And Brave is one of my favorite nudes by MAC. I definitely bought this off of the recommendation of a YouTuber. I think it was Samantha Maria uh, from, uh, she used to be called Beauty Crush, I think. She does fashion and jewelry, jewel, jewel I can't say that word, jewelry uh, right now more so than she does beauty content, I feel. And this again has seen quite a bit of wear. And this is more like a pinky nude, you could say. And this is a satin. The satins and the mattes are probably my favorites by MAC. Oh yeah. So that's a little bit more pink. It's not, it doesn't have a plummy undertone. And Brave is a really nice one if you want a true like pinky nude, I feel. It's just one of the best pinky nudes that I have. And as you can see, it's not as sheer as Syrup was, but it does ha definitely have much more pigment to it. So there we have Brave, and Brave is again a very pretty shade. It's a little bit lighter than what I normally go for. Um, I definitely don't really go for a lot of pinky nudes very often. Very often I go with things that are a bit more mauve, that have a bit more purple to them. This is definitely more pink. Um, but I don't like nudes that are super duper light, and I think this definitely fits that bill. It definitely still has that my lips but better kind of quality to it which is what I like in a nude. So this is a nice one. It's one of my favorites for a reason. Next up is a matte and this is Velvet Teddy and Velvet Teddy definitely had a moment. This is one of my oldest MAC lipsticks and it still smells okay. Like this still has that vanilla scent that these of course very are, are much known for. And this is more of like a brown toned pink. Oh yeah, you can definitely see the difference here between something like Brave, which is definitely more pink, and this is a bit, this has much more brown to it. It still feels very creamy, so let's see what this looks like on. So 
So for a while there, this was one of MAC's best-selling shades, of course. This was very much hyped up. I don't think this still works on me. What do you think? Again, maybe I'm just wearing too neutral of a look <laughs> for this to really work. I feel that very often nudes work best if I wear a much more intense eye. Um, but for this video, I wanted to make sure I wore an eye look that go with, could go with everything. But I feel that this drains me a little bit. What do you think? It's perhaps a little bit too peach. I don't really like peachy nudes all that much. So maybe at some point in time, Velvet Teddy is one that I have to declutter because I don't, I'm not feeling this shade. All right, next up is one that I do love. This is Twig and this is a satin. And this is like, it's like Velvet Teddy, but darker. And that's why I feel it works on me. It's also a bit more brown toned, but again, it has that pink, sort of almost like plumminess to it. Do, do you see that difference? That's Velvet Teddy, but that's Twig. I know why that I like this a lot more because this has a lot more purple to it. I love when a lipstick, a nude especially, has like a mauve purpley undertone to it. So let's put this on. So yeah, I feel this just does so much more for me than Velvet Teddy did. You can just see that this livens up my complexion a lot more and that just works a lot better. So yeah, Twig, long-standing favorite in my MAC lipstick collection for sure, precisely for that reason. All right, so next up would be another favorite and this is Mare and this is a matte and this is that pinky mauve that I love. This is, again, this looks very beat up <laughs> uh, because I wore it so, so much. Let me swatch this next to Twig. So you can see, um, you can see that Twig has a lot more brown to it and Mare is much more like mauve. Uh, it's also a little bit more saturated again because uh, Twig has a bit more shine to it. The satins usually have a bit more shine, whereas Mare is a matte, so it looks a bit more flat perhaps. But I feel that MAC mattes are some of the best ones in my collection till this day. So let's put on Mare. Ta-da! This is why I love this lipstick so, so much. So it's matte, but it's still very comfortable, very creamy. I know this stays put all day. I need to bust this out again. This, I now remember why this is one of my all-time favorite lipsticks. And of course, I have other lipsticks by other brands that are this sort of shade. Think of like a Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk or Back Talk by Urban Decay. Those I think fit into the same vein. But this is pretty, this is very pretty. <laughs> I really, really like this. All right, next up is a brown lipstick. The only brown lipstick I think I own and that's Whirl. And this is more like a cool tone brown and I think this is, yeah, this is also a matte. And let me just put it over here, just below Mare. So you can see, and this is not one that I wear a lot because whenever are you going to be wearing brown lipstick? But look at that difference. Like if Mare and Whirl had a baby, we would get Twig, I'm sure, <laughs> which is probably why I like Twig so much because it sort of gives me the best of both worlds. And there we have Whirl. And I think this is a very interesting shade. Um, like I mentioned, it's a brown and it's definitely a little bit more cool toned. I think, by the way, I want to try something right now. I've been putting these away. Let me see. Yes. So what if I put Velvet Teddy over Brave? Let me try that because I think that can be or over Brave, over Whirl. Um, so let me see what happens if I put this in the center of my lip. See how it sort of gives a different dimension to that lipstick? I feel that Whirl by itself is perhaps a little too out there for me. I mean, it can make it work. I mean, with the right eye look, I think it will work fine. I would definitely need to up the ante when it comes to like cheek products as well. But this little combo, I like. All right, and then we have a lipstick that I know I should be using a lot more. This is one of the more recent lipsticks that I bought by MAC and that I haven't used much because I was trying to use up certain lipsticks from other lines. This is Stay Curious, and this is from their Powder Kiss line. 
And this is a very interesting texture. It's a very thin, almost like moisturizing texture, but it still looks quite matte. Um, I'm not sure. And this shade, Stay Curious, is like a reddish tone nude. Very stunning. Very different as well. Nothing I really have a lot of. Um, but as you can see, it has that reddish tone to it. So let me put this on. So there we have Stay Curious, and I think this is a very pretty shade. This is the kind of red for people that don't like red. Like if red is too much in your face, and you don't want to go full on red, then a shade like this, I think works really, really well for people that just are a bit intimidated by reds. This is still quite matte, but it is almost like a velvety kind of texture on the lips. Like I love this texture, which is why I got this one. It's just something that I just need to start wearing. <laughs> like I just need to get whip this out and put it on my face on a work day. So the next lipstick would be another satin and this is Captive. And this is like a really deep version of something like Mare. It definitely has a very sort of plummy undertone, but I still categorize this as a nude. Um, because it does go with a lot of different things. So let me swatch it here. Captive is right here. It's like this plummy shade and it is a really, really stunning lipstick. Again, one that I should wear more often, but this is a bit darker and that's why I find it very difficult to pull off. So that would be Captive, and I do really like this shade, but as I mentioned, it is a little bit on the deeper side. I feel it works really well with what I'm wearing today. I've got a bit of a green tint on the lid, and then this like purpley, almost sort of tone works really well, I have to say. So maybe this is one that I need to put with green looks. Maybe I should give that a whirl. Let's see if we can do that. So let's talk about brights, because I also have a couple of very bright shades. I have Watch Me Simmer, which is an amplified in this coral shade. And I'm not a huge, huge fan of corals by any means, but if we have to go coral, I would go for something like this. This is again one I haven't worn all that much. And this is a coral that has almost like a neon tint to it because it's got quite a lot of white to it. It's got a pretty strong white base. And amplifieds are usually very pigmented, but they're also quite creamy. They do stay put like mattes, but these also have a tendency to transfer. So these do get all over my teeth if I'm not careful. So there we have Watch Me Simmer. And I do feel that this sort of livens up your face for like the spring summertime. I think this is a very fun shade. It does ask for quite a neutral look, I feel, just to make sure that this is the one thing that pops. It's a very nice, very pleasant texture, I have to say. I'm really liking the feel of this on my lips. It's just that I feel, as I was putting it on, I definitely needed two layers to make sure it went on opaque and it covered up the rest of my lips. So next up, we have another very bright lipstick. This is also an amplified. Most of the brights I have are amplifieds. And this is Morange. And this is an orange lipstick. This is, I think, a cult favorite. Look at how bright. It's not a true, true orange. I actually have an orange lipstick that is a lot more yellow toned than this one is. This is pulling almost a little bit more to the red toned part of an orange, which is why this is actually quite surprisingly a very wearable orange because it has that reddish undertone to it. It's not too yellow. So this is Morange, and this is a case of the camera doesn't do it any justice because in real life this is so much brighter than it looks on camera, let me tell you that. This is also the kind of shade that makes your teeth look a little bit weird because of the brightness of this shade. I do feel that it really makes my teeth very yellow, which is usually not the, not the best, but for a very fun, bright look, this is, again, the kind of shade, like, if you just do a very neutral, like, one shadow look on the eye, and then this kind of a lipstick, it's yummy. 
let me tell you that. Next up is pinks, and one of the brightest pinks that MAC does is Candy Yum Yum. And this shade was in my July Shop My Stash, I wore this a few times. This is like a neon pink, it has a very strong white base. So let me see where I can swatch it for you, let me put it here. Trying to make the most of this hand here. So there we have Candy Yum Yum, like this thing. In real life, it looks like it's like almost fluorescent neon pink. It's a bit intense, but again, uh, I think actually I bought this after I saw Lisa Eldritch use it in a video. I think she did a video where she used this and she actually made it look very wearable. It's just a really nice, bold, bright shade for summer. Here we go. So this is again a case of the camera doesn't do it any justice. This is the kind of shade that in real life just pops off of your face and in like the camera just can't pick up on how bright this thing actually is. It's a bit crazy, but it's it's a really really stunning shade for like this the summertime when you want to wear something super fun, super bright. It's definitely a little bit more edgy. It's not something that maybe most people would wear to work. I do. Personally, I, I will wear this something crazy like this to work. I'm a bit crazy, you know that about me. Next up is another coral, but this is a pink toned coral. And this is Impassioned, which is another Amplified. Did I tell you what? Candy Yum Yum, Candy Yum Yum is a matte. Um, but this is Impassioned. And this is one of my favorite MAC lipsticks. Look look at this beat up bullet, oh, it's, um, it's, been along for the ride. So I'm putting it right here because then you can see how it compares to Watch Me Simmer, Mirage, and Candy Yum Yum. It's just, it's a lot more pink than Watch Me Simmer, which I, which is why I feel it works on me a lot better. There we have Impassioned. What can I say? I put a shade like this on and Something just happens to my face. A lot of people have been commenting on my video saying like, wow, you look really good in bright lipsticks. And I'm not even sure why, but there's just something about my complexion that makes a shade like this just look really good on. So we're getting to that point where my lips are getting nicely stained. One more in the bright category, and this is a very different finish. This is a retro matte, which is one that I don't have a lot by, uh, but this is flat out fabulous. And this, Looks like a purple, but is it a purple? Oh no, it's got a lot of pink to it. Um, but this is a very stiff formula. I believe Ruby Woo is also this retro matte finish that is a little bit more tug-like tug on the lips. Um, but this is a purple with a lot of pink to it. So that makes it a lot more wearable than what you might expect from the bullet. There we have Flat Out Fabulous. This is definitely the kind of shade that, again, looks a lot different, I feel, on camera than it does in real life. In real life, on me, this like purpley pinkiness is like extra, extra vibrant. And I feel that the camera is sort of like, not washing it out, but just toning it down a lot. It looks a lot brighter in real life. And this, again, with a green eye like this. Do you see that? Such a stunning shade. And one that I didn't really know where to put because it's a bit like a brighter berry shade. So I didn't know whether I wanted to put this in the like dark berry category or where I should put it here, but it's Rebel by MAC, which is another satin. And this is one of those shades that in the bullet looks super dark and intimidating. But then when you put it on your lips and when you swatch it, it's actually not that bad. So I wanted to put this on right now because I've got reds and like dark vampy things like left. And I think that if I wanna put this on after a red, you're not gonna see the shade as well. So that's why I first wanna show you Rebel. There we have Rebel. I love this shade so, so much. Do you see that on the lips, this just looks like a pretty berry shade? It's got like a hint of red, a little, per little bit of purple, but it also has a 
pinkiness to it, which is why it works. This in the fall time. Heaven. Time for reds. And the first thing we're going to start off with is a retro matte in relentlessly red. And this is not a very red shade. It's actually more like a bright pink, especially when you put it on your eyes or on your eyes, on your face, uh, on your lips, I should say. Let me swatch this over here because I'm running out of space on my other hand. Do you see that this and, well, you know, if you put it next to Impassioned, it's not that far off. It's just a bit more red toned. And that's what I like about this shade so much because pink toned reds can be very hard to do well. And I feel that this works really well. So that would be relentlessly red. As you can see, not super red, but bright. It's like a red, pink toned red with a bit of a white base to it. So this is sort of like a step up, I feel, from something like a Candy Yum Yum, which is also great, but that's very blue toned, which doesn't look good on everyone. Whereas I feel that this is again, one of those shades that if you wanna go into reds, but you don't wanna wear reds, then this can be nice. And then we have another one of the Powder Kiss line. This is Lasting Passion. And this is one that I've definitely not used a lot because this is again like a brighter red shade. Let me swatch it here next to Relentlessly Red. I think they may actually be quite similar. Oh, Lasting Passion is definitely a little bit more red than Relentlessly Red, but I feel they are quite similar. And this is uh, because it's the Powder Kiss formula, it's a lot thinner, a lot creamier. Um, the re Relentlessly Red one is a retro matte, so that may be something that might sway you to go for this over the other one. So there we have Lasting Passion, and this is definitely a little bit more red than relentlessly red I feel, especially on my lips. So this is again that softer reddish tone that I think can be very pretty if you want to get into wearing reds, but reds make you a little bit nervous. That's who this is for, I feel. Shall we move on to the big guns then? This is True True Reds. Let's start with Lady Danger, which is a matte. I put it in my shop my stash for July. This is an orange toned red that if more orange is too orange for you and you want it to have more red, then Lady Danger is the way to go. Uh, let me swatch it right here. Boom, color. Need I say more? This is another one of those instances where it's like, you put on a bright lipstick and it instant, instantly lights up your face. That's what happens when I put on Lady Danger. That's just how I feel. This is one of the best orange toned reds on the market till this day. I think I have a couple of other ones, but this till this day is my favorite. Next up is another really good uh, red lipstick. It's another matte and it's Chili by MAC. And this is a brown toned red. And this is the kind of shade that is really, really stunning in the fall time because it's just, it's fall colors, you guys. It just is. There we have chili. Doesn't that look good? There we have Max Chili. And this is one of those shades that I feel just goes with like mustard yellows like this with the Naked Honey by Urban Decay. I'm telling you, it's a good, good combo. So I'm loving this. But boy, do we have a couple of good ones left because next up is one of my all-time favorite lipsticks. Russian Red by MAC. Not Ruby Woo, but my favorite red by MAC is Russian Red. This is the classic red that I feel everybody needs. This is again, very beat up because I've used it so, so much. And I still, till this day, really love this, really enjoy it. I do have to say that I by now have other reds that sort of fit into this category, like Charlotte Tilbury's Red Carpet Red, and also Lisa Eldridge's Velvet Rib Ribbon that are reds that I personally really, really enjoy. So, but this is still a staple. I still reach for this. Whenever I would just wanna go for a red that I know will see me through the day, 
I reach for Russian red. You put a red on it, it just works. That's how red lipstick works for me. Yes, I love a good nude, that's why I have quite a few, but I put on a red lipstick and it just works. I don't know, it's something about my complexion, the blonde hair, the brown eyes, the darker eyebrows, but still like light. That just makes, it just makes a red lipstick work so, so well on me. And Russian red is till this day, as I mentioned, one of my favorite. It's, this is in my top five red lipsticks. Two more left, and both of these would fall into the dark and vampy category. And the first one I want to show you is an amplified called Dark Side. And Dark Side is actually the same shade as Diva, but Diva is a matte, and this is the amplified version. And because the amplifieds are just a lot more comfortable, I went for this shade in the amplified look. And this is like the more intense version of Rebel. Like, Rebel is nice. But as you can see, Dark Side has a lot more red to it and makes it a lot more of a berry, like deeper shade. Um, so this is what Dark Side looks like on me. And that's Dark Side. As you can see, see, still very wearable, very pretty, really nice to wear. I love shades like this in the fall time. And again, with a more green toned eye, like I mentioned about Captive. Um, this is like the more intense version of what Captive would give you. So that's why I can see why, again, Captive would also work with the green toned eye. But this just works. This is just one of those shades. In the fall time, it just works. And now, last but not least, we're going to be talking about a matte, and that would be Sin. This is one of the darkest lipsticks in my entire lipstick collection. I don't think I own anything that is this dark and vampy. Um, and this needs to be a matte because you don't want shades like this to go everywhere. Okay, so that's the worst swatch out of all of them. But as you can see, this is even deeper. This has a bit of black almost to it, but I believe there is another shade by MAC that's even deeper than this. That's like a black with purple, and this would be a purple or like a berry shade with black. That's how I would categorize it. So let's put on Sin. If you want to go dark and vampy, then Sin is definitely the way to go, I feel. Again, not something I reach for a whole lot, but if you want to go super dark and vampy, this is a really lovely shade. Uh, I do think that I prefer Dark Side perhaps a little bit better because it's got that sort of more reddish undertone. This is also almost a little bit brown on me. You know what I mean? Like a purple with brown? So yeah, those are all of my MAC lipsticks, all 21 of them, on my lips, on my hands. My lips now definitely need a bit of TLC, you could say, especially with such a dark shade like Sin at the end. Um, but yeah, these are, of course, as I also mentioned at the beginning, some of these are a bit older, but I had no issues putting any of these on. There are a few uh, that I think are sort of on their less legs that I would need replacing. Um, but so far, I'm definitely rediscovering my MAC makeup collection, or my lipstick collection, I should say, through doing this video today for you, which was my personal goal with this video, and I hope you got out of this what all of these shades look like on my very pale, blonde hair, brown eyes kind of complexion, and how it all plays together. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more by me. I make three new videos a week over on this channel. So I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!